Thank you to this user who suggested today's topic. If you have an idea for a video you want to see, let me know in the comment section down below. Before Raymond van Barneveld became a Lakeside World Champion, darts was a relatively niche and unpopular professional sport in the Netherlands. He first reached the BDO World's final in 1995, where he lost to Richie Burnett. This was shown on a popular TV channel in his home country, which gave it some exposure. Barney won his first world title three years later, in a final which was watched by over 5 million people in the Netherlands, almost a third of the Dutch population. When he arrived home at Schiphol Airport, many fans and photographers were there to greet him, with it being described as Barney Mania. Barney's success made darts very popular in the Netherlands and led many young players to see it as a professional sport that they could play internationally. Jelle Klaassen began playing darts at a young age shortly after this and quickly became a top player. In October 2005, just three days after turning 21, he entered the BDO World Championship qualifiers where he became one of the six players to qualify. Jelle was a relatively unknown player at the time and made his WDF major debut at the World Masters a few days later where he lost 3-2 in the preliminary round to Stephen McDonnell. His final tournament before his World Championship debut was the Zur de Dijn Masters where he went out in the group stage after losing to both Albertino Essers and Mervyn King. He was a big outsider heading into Lakeside and had title odds of 100-1. to He started off against Dennis Harbour and after missing three darts at tops and tens to make it 1-0, he went 2-0 down in sets in the first to three game. However, Yella bounced back and won six of the next seven legs to win both the third and fourth sets and levelled up the game at 2-0. Harbour then won the first leg of the deciding set before Yella won three in a row to get a debut win, having been 2-0 down. He had a far tougher test next up when he faced the number one seed, Mervyn King. Mervyn won the first set 3-0 before Yella won the second set in a fifth and deciding leg. Yella then won two more sets, going 3-1 up after winning another deciding fifth leg. Mervyn then made it 3-2 in the first to four game before Yella won yet another fifth leg to win the sixth set and take the game 4-2 in a huge shock. He then faced Paul Hogan in the quarters and started brilliantly going 4-1 up. However, he then lost three sets in a row as Hogan mounted a comeback and made it 4-0, sending the game to a deciding set. Yella then managed to win the final set 3-0, winning the dramatic game which he nearly threw away. Yella was through to the semis where he faced Sean Greatbatch. This time he made a slow start and went 3-1 down. However, he then improved and won five sets in a row to book his place in the final where he faced the king of Dutch darts, Raymond van Barneveld. Jelle made a great start to this final and won the first two sets. Barney then won four of the next five sets to go 4-3 up before Jelle won back-to-back -back sets to go 5-4 up in the first to seven tie. Barney then won the next set to make it 5 all before Jelle won back-to-back -back sets again, crazily taking the title on debut. Jelle had come through the qualifier, being a 100-1 to shot and beating the top seed as well as Van Barneveld to become the sport's youngest world champion. He stayed in the BDO for 2006 where he didn't win another title for the rest of the year, disappointing after his huge win at Lakeside. This meant that he returned to defend the world championship as an unseeded player. Yella's poor honour form continued when he was beaten by Ko Stompe 3-0 in the first round at Lakeside. Stompe had not won at Lakeside for four years and Clarkson became the sixth defending champion to fall at the first hurdle. Following the final of the event, it was announced that Clarkson and Michael Van Gerwen were both moving to the PDC following the move that Van Barneveld made a year earlier. The BDO tried to sue Yella as they claimed he had one year left on a contract that meant that he had to play at Lakeside. However, the move went through and in his first year as a PDC player, Yella hadn't reached a Pro Tour semi-final by the time they got to November. On the 4th of November 2007, he won the John McAvoy Gold Arts Classic in Ireland, taking his first PDC title. 
Clarsen beat Vincent van der Voort in the final on that day, who he also faced in his Ali Pali debut. Yella missed 10 match darts in a crazy game, which Vincent went on to win in the deciding leg. Clarsen only reached one PDC semi-final in 2008, where he lost to Phil Taylor in a UK Open regional qualifier. He ended the year with a great run at the PDC World Championship, where he went through the first three rounds, having only dropped one set. However, in the quarter-finals, he only won one set in a 5-1 loss against Van Barneveld. Barney hit the first ever PDC World Championship 9 data in that game. This quarter-final run put Clarsen up to 25th in the world and helped him to be selected by Sky Sports as a wildcard for the 2009 Premier League. Yella had a terrible time during his debut season, winning just one of his 12 games and finishing bottom of the league. At the 2010 World Championships, he went out in the first round, losing 3-1 to Barry Bates. Yella's biggest win of 2010 came at the World Match Play, where he managed to beat Gary Anderson 14-12 in a tie break in the second round. He went on to lose to Simon Whitlock in the next round. At the 2011 Worlds, Clarsen lost in the first round for the third time in four years, this time 3-1 to Steve Brown. He also went out in the first round of the other three majors he appeared in that year, before bringing an end to this run, where he beat Peter Wright 3-1 in the first round of the 2012 World Championships, before being whitewashed by James Wade. He played in PDC tournaments in 2012, up until August, when some shocking news came out about him. It was reported in the Dutch press that Clarsen had been accused of sending three nude photos to a 15-year-old family friend who had an intellectual disability. He sent the photos to the girl via email and Twitter and was then questioned by the police. Clarsen admitted to it, saying that he would like to apologise to everyone and that he had made a mistake he was deeply ashamed of and would accept the consequences. In December, Yella was given 16 hours of community service and a fine of around 400 euros. Clarsen was also announced as having been declared bankrupt. This incident led MVG to fall out with Clarsen as the girl was a sister-in-law of Van Gerwens. Yella returned to the PDC at the start of the 2013 season, having missed the 2013 World Championship, and in May he reached his first final since 2007 at a Players' Championship event where he lost 6-4 to Jamie Caven. Yella faced Caven again in his Ali Pali return where he lost 3-1 to the Englishman in the first round. In early 2014, he reached his first Eurotour semi-final, beating MVG 6-5 in the quarters. The players didn't shake hands after this game and haven't since the 2012 incident. At the 2015 World Championship, he beat Christine Kiss 3-1 in the first round before he went 3-1 up on Gary Anderson in round two. However, Anderson then won three sets in a row to get a 4-3 win. 2015 was the only year in which he appeared in every ranking major. He reached two televised quarterfinals and won two players championship events on the Pro Tour. He began the 2016 World Championship with a great performance, averaging 102.5 in a 3-0 win over Joe Cullen. Yella then beat Mervyn King 4-2 in a game where he hit a 170, 10 years on from their meeting at Lakeside. Yella was through to the third round for the first time since 2009. This set up a meeting with Phil Taylor, where the first six sets went with throw, meaning that the game went to a deciding set which Clarsen went 2-0 down in. Taylor missed a match start at tops before Yella won four legs in a row to win in a tie break. This was a huge win and saw Yella reach the semis where he would face Alan Norris in a game which was a huge opportunity for both. Clarsen was 3-1 and 4-3 down but bounced back to force the deciding set which he managed to win 3-0, meaning that he was through to the semis to face Gary Anderson. Anderson averaged 107 in this game, whitewashing Clarsen in a match where the Scotsman also hit a 9 data. Clarsen followed this up with another semi-final run at the next ranking major, the UK Open. He beat Kyle Anderson 10-0 in the quarters before losing to Peter Wright. He reached his first Eurotour final 
at the final ET event of 2016. In this game, he ended up losing to Alan Norris in a deciding leg. At the 2017 World Championship, Yeller averaged in the 90s in wins over Jeffrey DeGraff and Brendan Dolan before he dropped below 90 and lost 4-2 to Dave Chisnell in the last 16. Following this event, it was announced that Yeller would be returning to the Premier League in 2017 for the first time since his poor 2009 campaign. However, this season was arguably worse. Yeller finished 9th, winning 1 and drawing 1 from the 9 games he played. He performed poorly, particularly in the second half of the season due to tendonitis, meaning that he had to have wrist injections to play on several nights. His one draw came against Kim Hybret, who also had an injury, and following his elimination, Clarsen had surgery, causing him to have to change his throw and leading to a gradual drop in form. Shortly after this, he reached a second Euro Tour final, where he lost 6-2 to MVG. After going three years without a first round loss at the Worlds, he lost 3-1 to Jan Decker in his first game in 2018. From the start of 2019 until the end of 2021, Yeller didn't reach a single Pro Tour semi-final. At the 2019 World Championship, he lost 3-1 to Keegan Brown in his first game. In 2020, he beat Kevin Burness 3-1 before losing 3-1 to MVG in what turned out to be his final Ali Pali game to date. He had a good run at the UK Open in 2020 where he beat Gary Anderson 10-9 in the 6th round to reach the quarterfinals. This game also went to a deciding leg, but Clarsen lost. He didn't qualify for the World Championship in 2021 or for 2022 after he lost in the semi-final of the West Europe qualifier. Clarsen then lost to Vincent van der Voort in the first round of the 2021 Players' Championship Finals and failed to come through the World Championship PDPA qualifier confirming that he lost his tour card at the end of the year as he was 78th on the order of merit. He had been on the PDC tour for 15 years and now had to go to Q school to attempt to regain a tour card. In the final stage of EU Q school, he only won one game over the four days, meaning that he missed out. In 2022, he managed to win the WDF Dutch Open, a huge tournament which is one of the WDF's biggest. He won another WDF title later that year, helping him to become the WDF number one, a position he held until May this year. He tried to win his tour card back at the start of this year and made it through the first stage on four points. In the final stage, he picked up three points, finishing 26th on the order of merit and missing out on a card again. Let me know if you think Clarsen will get a tour card back in 2024 in the comment section down below.